Hi everyone, uh, I'm, I want to show you a small video and I wanted to make it small because it's 5 a.m. in the morning already uh, because you know when you're excited about something basically you cannot stop working on it so in this case well basically I want to stop <laughs> uh, but I want to show you what I did so I wanted to be able to invoke JavaScript directly from the view controller so basically what I did is like I hack around the code and added some stuff so I can forward the or pass the value of the JavaScript runtime to the view controllers or basically to any object in SAF it's depending where you want to access it but I mean you can do the same trick with any other uh, class uh, within SAF so um, basically the idea was to execute JavaScript directly without having to access the web window and the stuff that you did before for web forms and uh, well uh, this is what I have um, this is like the most basic example is just a view controller with a simple action and then in the simple action I have access to the JavaScript runtime and I can invoke basically functions so the function that I want to invoke is js, JS show message this function is here in this JavaScript and you can pass parameters and also you can get parameters out from the function so uh, let me execute this so I can show you how it goes again this is a teaser so I'm not going to show the code on how I did it because this might not be the final version of Blazor so I don't want to confuse people that is watching the video I just want to show that all the possibilities that will come when Blazor is totally released for SAF I mean Blazor is released already for, for and I mean if you're using .NET Core but SAF Blazor is still not out yet I mean the final version so let's log in as admin then here I'm in the domain object one this is basically one domain object with one property which is name and I don't really care I just wanted to show the the action in the view controller so here I have this action execute JavaScript this will come here and then it will execute this code so I will put a breakpoint here and execute the action so basically I'm here and I'm going to pass to this function this value and there you go the alert is there you can pass the alert from anywhere else and again I don't want to make this video long but I guess I will let's add a property to the domain object one so you can see how dynamic this can be oh no no we don't have to add a property let's use the domain object one as it is okay so this view controller is running for the domain component domain object one so uh, here what I'm going to do is like cast the value so domain object one current object is going to be equal to domain object one this view current object and what we're going to pass is the value of the name property so you can see that I'm passing values from .NET to JavaScript so let's run this again and then I will get ready to go to sleep Okay, so 
let me create one object here is going to be Jose and here I'm going to write Javier Hector and Daniel so let's come here and let's execute the JavaScript which should say Hector is working so let, let's move to the next object to Javier execute I'm going to remove this breakpoint Javier is there then this is me is running and O'Neill and there you go basically there are really a lot of interesting things that you can do if you mix JavaScript with basically .NET in general. I wrote a tweet like one week ago that what I like more about Blazor is the interoperability that they have between uh, .NET and JavaScript because it's like really easy to use. You don't have to do that much. So the possibilities are basically endless. But anyway, um, it's all about doing the research to see how this will fit but I'm really glad about the, pos the new possibilities that, that any person who uses Blazor or any person who is using SAF at the moment will have with this new version so well that's, that's everything for this video so if you have any doubt about the interoper interoperability with JavaScript you can just write a comment in this video and if you have any questions regarding your next project with SAF, XPO, Xamarin or any .NET technology you can give us a call you will see the link for for the calendar to schedule a call in the description of this video so that's everything and see you guys bye